Okay, so Pixel 4a is finally here, and it's actually pretty good. But is it better than the iPhone SE 2? I'm my Skylar, let's get started. All right, first I'm just gonna compare them spec for spec, look at the specs so that you can decide which specs you want. Then I'll go into my opinions on the matter and you can use whatever you want to make your decision. So I'm comparing the base pixel to the 128 gig iPhone because, well, the base pixel includes a sensible amount of storage at 128 gigabyte, so I'm comparing it to the respective iPhone. The Pixel has a Snapdragon 730G for its processor, which is a good Android processor from early last year. But the iPhone SE 2 has an A13. That's the chip from the iPhone 11. The, like, this is the best processor, amazing processor, and that's not just me being an Apple sheep. Apple's iPhone chips consistently benchmark better than their Android counterparts. So that means that the Pixel will be a little slower than the iPhone, but not a slow phone, just slower. The Pixel has six gigs of RAM, the iPhone has three gigs of RAM. Both are just fine for the OS they run because Android just needs more RAM than iOS. The display though is where the Pixel starts kicking some iPhone butt. The Pixel has a 5.8 inch full HD OLED display and the iPhone has a 4.7 inch HD LCD with the bezels on the top and bottom. The Pixel just looks a lot better, has a much better screen in general. Pixel wins that. And next is the battery, which is brutal. The Pixel has a 3100 milliamp battery and the iPhone only has 1600 milliamps. That's like twice the battery capacity in the Pixel. And although iOS is well optimized, the Pixel is just, in the end, it's gonna have a much better battery life than the iPhone. So Pixel, again, is better there. They both have the same 12 megapixel camera, not the same camera, but they both have a 12 megapixel camera on the back, and just one. Both have one camera, and then the front, they both have adequate selfie cameras. Both iPhones and Pixels are pretty much known as like the best phone cameras, so it is some pretty tight competition. Even though they don't have the highest megapixel counts, they have great processing and they create great pictures. But the Pixel is probably going to have a lot better night mode because Pixel Night Sight is just known for being great. And the iPhone will probably have a little bit better normal pictures and video because it's known for its video. iPhones get good video. All right, those are the specs that you need to know to decide which one you want. But let's look at the price. The base Pixel costs $349 with 128 gigabytes of storage, and the 128 gig iPhone costs $449. So that's an $100 difference. And that means that in general here, and this is not easy for me to say as an Apple person, the Pixel is the better phone here, even for less. Now, unless there's one exception to this, if you want a longer lasting phone, then you, you have to go iPhone because the iPhone SE has like five years left in it, while the Pixel is only gonna get three years of support. So yeah, the iPhone, way better processor. RAM on both of them is good. Pixel has a much larger and better display, much more modern. Pixel has a much larger battery, which will get you a so much more usable battery life. The cameras are spec the same, and as Google and Apple being the camera kings, both will get great photos. So the Pixel is generally better in every way, except the processor, and it's cheaper. So yeah, Pixel wins there, but they are both great budget phones. So if you really want an iPhone, get the iPhone SE. If you really want a Pixel, get the Pixel 4a. If you don't care, then get a Pixel, it's better and cheaper. Unless you wanna use that phone for a very long time, then go iPhone. But in general, that Pixel is just better. I, it's, it's crazy for me to say this, I love Apple, but the Pixel is a much better phone running Google's great version of Android with okay update times. It's really a good phone. So now that I've ruined my chances at ever getting an Apple review unit, I'm Skylar. Thanks for watching, bye.